All right, you guys, so I tried this a minute ago and it did not work. Um, I'm not sure why you can't hear sound on my video, um, but you'll have to excuse my appearance. I have not been feeling well. Um, talking about this every single second is killing me because I'm having to relive this over and over and over again, but I needed to make sure that I got this out there. I've had quite a few people message me and ask me why I'm not putting out the videos that I said I was gonna put out. I know I have close to about 400 followers on here now. Um, the night before Easter, my another one of my little brothers passed away. Um, he had went out and had a drink and thought he could make it home and no one could locate him and we actually um, one of his friends went out looking for him and found his truck at the bottom of the river um, he rolled down the side of the mountain and he, his truck was so messed up that when the divers got down there, they could not identify if there was anybody in the truck because it was so bad. Um, he rolled down the side of a cliff and into the water. So, he was actually in the water from about 12 o'clock a.m. until about 6 o'clock the next day. I'm going to try and make this video very short because I just relived this when I was coming on to talk to everybody about this. Um, I'm really stressing about this right now and very upset. Um, I can say that my honey has absolutely been incredible to not only me and the kids, but to everybody around. He has been my biggest support person. Um, he has helped me when I needed to cry. He has been there for me when I'm angry. And I'm kind of going through different stages right now. Um, I was completely torn up when I first found out. Um, that quickly turned into disbelief. Then from disbelief, it turned to anger. And I think I'm kind of back in the disbelief and hurt phase. Um, I'm trying to stay strong for everybody. And at this point, I'm hurting really bad and I'm trying not to cry. So I'm trying to keep it in. But it's very, very hard. This is now losing a second brother for me. I lost a little brother when I was 16. He committed suicide. And now I am losing one uh, basically to alcohol. Um, he wasn't drunk. And we want to believe he kind of fell asleep. He, the bartender said he had one drink, maybe two to the most. He wasn't drunk. He was just very, very tired from everything. He was a very, very big boy, about 6'2", maybe 6'1", um, 260 pounds, big, big. I'm only five, four, three and a half, five, four for reference. And this was my little brother. Um, so, I just wanted to come on and let everybody know what is going on. 
I do have a lot of videos that I'm gonna be working on to try and keep my mind off of this. I'm currently sitting outside in the sunshine kind of right now. Um, I had so many videos pre-recorded before this and this happened the day before Easter so it was kind of a shock to all of us. Um, so now a lot of people are kind of curious as to how it happened and I feel like this is kind of a therapy for me to talk about this. Some people may disagree and that's okay, but this is helping me to cope with another loss of one of my baby brothers, who's only 27. So my brother was a drinker. He was young. He enjoyed to drink with his friends. He enjoyed to have fun. Um, my older brother always yelled at him. You need to knock it off. Like, don't do that. Oh, I know how to get home. I don't drink and drive when I'm drunk and I can make it home. Well, that morning, my older brother and him were kind of going at it and he was telling him, I don't want to find out to drinking anymore and driving or anything like that. Well, you know, being 27, you don't always want to listen to older people. So that night on Friday, he um, he had just gotten back from taking another one of my little brothers out of state um, because he's going to equine school for horses, I believe it is. Um, but he had just gotten back, he's been working and then he, and he was just tired. So he's like, you know, I'm just gonna go and enjoy one drink. Well, he went to the bar that night and the bar closed around 12. And the bartender said that he walked out with them at 12 and got in his truck. And he just sat there on his phone for a couple seconds like he always did. And um, they're not allowed to leave the parking lot until everybody leaves. So, he drove away and when he did, um, he didn't even get about a mile away from the bar and there is a really, really bad curve by where the river is. It's like a bridge. Um, but there were no skid marks, no anything and this leads me and a couple other family members to believe that either he could have had a heart attack. Um, he could have fallen asleep. Um, there were no skid marks or anything. He kind of, the bridge kind of turned and he didn't turn with it. He kind of just went straight and hit the guardrail and his truck flipped and flipped and flipped and flipped into the water. Um, and the next day, my mom, I don't talk to my mother. I haven't in a very, very long time. Um, and that was my decision. Um, she had somebody reach out to me and ask me if I had talked to my brother. And I said, no, he's probably at a girl's house. You know, that's, he's a young guy, that's what he does. He always comes home. Well, my mom crossed over that bridge about three times going to look for him. Not one time did it occur to her to look where the guardrail was broken and thank God she didn't because she probably would have jumped in to try and save him and killed herself at the same time. But she went back home and she called a couple of his friends and his friends came out to go look for him. And they showed up back at her house and said, hey mom, I'm sorry, Savi's gone. And she said, what do you mean he's gone? Is he in jail? Like, did he get arrested for drinking or something? And they're like, no mom, I'm sorry, he's gone. And she didn't really understand. Um, his friends actually are the ones that found him, his truck in the water. Um, His truck was completely submerged in the water. It was so damaged that 
when the divers got there, there was about two to three divers, and when they got there, the truck was so bad that they could not identify if anybody was in the vehicle or not. So he was in the water from about 12 a.m. Saturday morning until about 6 p.m. Saturday. He was in there for some hours. Um, we still haven't gotten any information from the coroner's office on like toxicology or anything like that, but according to the bartender, he wasn't drunk. He had a beer and that was it. He was just really tired, they said. Um, it doesn't give any excuse for you to have one beer and get in your vehicle and drive because he could have not hurt himself. He could have hurt another family and even though he wasn't drunk he could have hurt another family and he would have lost his life anyways because he would have been in jail so i'm kind of going through the grieving stages right now i apologize for the lighting guys i'm trying to do this as best as i can so you guys can bear with me um my brother wanted to be cremated, so my older brother is trying to help me decide on what we're really going to do. Um, but I did start a GoFundMe page to help us out for the cremation process and all the bills and everything to pay for. Um, and we are going to have a celebration of life with the money that, we, that I raise for, for my brother. Um, whether it be the family go on a vacation in his name to celebrate him, um, have a big barbecue, go out for dinner and ice cream, whatever it is. My brother would never want anybody to mourn him. He would want people to celebrate him. So with that being said, any money that I raise through this GoFundMe is going to go directly to paying what I need to pay for the process as well as, there's a hummingbird, <laughs> as well as us celebrating him. Um, and to help pay with anything that needs to be paid for. Um, it will not be used on solely me and my family. I don't want anybody to think that or get the wrong impression. I want everybody to know that it will be used for my brother. Um, I do have a lot of videos coming out. If you guys can bear with me, I'm gonna try and work on those today to try and keep my mind off of everything. Um, I'm really struggling right now. hormones and my emotions and everything are all over the place but I don't want this video to keep going on because I definitely don't want to keep reliving this and I was telling my fiance I'm like he's like you can cry and get it out and I said no if I cry it means it's real well it is real and I'm not liking it Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end this video. I want you guys to know to please be patient with me. I know I have about 400 almost subscribers on here now. Please don't lose faith in me. If you can, share our GoFundMe. Um, if you can help out in any way, that would be wonderful. It would help us to celebrate my brother and to help with any expenses we need to pay for. So again, I'm gonna end this video now because I'm kind of feeling like I'm going all over the place at this point. <laughs> um, so yeah, so thank you guys so much for listening to me and hearing me out. Um, Please let your family know that even one beer is not okay. Um, I don't want anybody, I don't want pity from anybody. 
that I don't want sympathy like from anybody or anything like that. Prayers are always wanted. Um, so yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me. And I will see you guys later. And if you understand, then you understand how this is kind of a therapy for me to talk about stuff. And if you don't, then you don't. And that's okay too. So I am going to take my behind inside the house and put on a smiley face for my children because that's what mommies do. Mommies and daddies do that. And I will speak to you guys on the next one. All right, guys. Bye-bye.